Hello everyone, welcome to. Today, we're diving into essential tips to get your desired 7.5 score in the academic EELTS exam. Over the next few minutes, we'll be embarking on a journey exploring strategies for each section, listening, reading, writing, and speaking. We'll also delve into some overall tips that can help you manage your time effectively and perform at your best. So gear up as we explore the strategies for each section of the EELTS exam. Before we dive into the tips, it's crucial to understand what the ILTS exam is and why it's so important. The International English Language Testing System, or ILTS, is a standardized test that measures your proficiency in English. Listening, reading, writing, and speaking. Each section aims to assess your ability to use English in academic contexts, which is why it's a common requirement for studying in English-speaking countries. Now that we know what we're dealing with, let's move on to the first section, the listening section. The listening section can be tricky, but with the right strategies, you can ace it. The key here is active listening. This means fully engaging with the audio, not just hearing it. Imagine yourself in the scenario being described. Visualize the speakers. Try to understand their emotions and attitudes. This will help you pick up on subtle cues that can make a big difference in your answers. Another important aspect is the diversity of accents in the IELTS listening section. It's a good idea to expose yourself to a variety of accents during your preparation phase. Listen to podcasts, watch movies, engage in language exchange programs, anything that gets you comfortable with different accents. The second tip is about time management. Time can slip away quickly in the listening section. Regular practice tests can help you improve your speed and accuracy so you can answer all questions within the given time frame. Master these tips and you'll be well on your way to acing the listening section. Next up is the reading section, another area where the right approach can make a world of difference. Skimming and scanning are your secret weapons here. Skim to get the gist of each passage and then scan to quickly identify key information. But remember, it's not just about speed. Understanding is crucial. That's where vocabulary building comes in. Use context clues to understand unfamiliar words. Vocabulary will naturally expand. Finally, let's talk about time management. Three passages, 60 minutes, that's 20 minutes per passage. Sounds simple, right? But it takes practice to perfect this pacing. So practice, practice, practice. With these strategies in your arsenal, the reading section won't stand a chance. The writing section is where your language skills really get to shine. It's composed of two tasks. Task one could involve describing graphs, charts, or tables. So understanding the task is crucial. Don't rush into writing. Take a moment to comprehend what's being asked. Moving on to task two, it's all about structuring your essay. A well-structured essay with an introduction, body paragraphs, and a conclusion can earn you valuable points. But don't forget about vocabulary and grammar. A diverse range of vocabulary and correct grammar usage can significantly elevate your writing. It's like adding the final polish to your masterpiece. Keep these tips in mind and you'll be well prepared for the writing section. Finally, we have the speaking section, your chance to show off your spoken English skills. The key to success here lies in regular speaking practice. Engage in conversations in English, record yourself speaking, and seek feedback. This will help you get comfortable with the language and improve your confidence. Now, let's talk about fluency and coherence. It's not just about speaking fast. It's about maintaining a natural flow and organizing your ideas logically. Lastly, let's not forget pronunciation. Clear pronunciation is vital so make sure to focus on it and avoid common errors. Listen to native speakers, mimic their pronunciation, and try to understand the rhythm of the language. Master these tips and the speaking section will be a breeze. Before we wrap up, here are a few overall tips to keep in mind. First, always manage your time wisely during the exam. Don't linger too long on one question. Second, take full-length mock exams. This practice will simulate the actual test conditions, helping you become more comfortable when the real test day comes. Lastly, learn from your mistakes. Take time to understand your errors and work on them. 
Remember these tips and you'll be well on your way to achieving your ILTS goals. And that wraps up our guide to acing the ELTS exam. Remember, active listening, skimming and scanning, understanding tasks, structured writing, regular speaking practice, and time management are key. Thanks for joining us today. Feel free to drop any questions in the comments, and we'll see you in the next video.